Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome, guys. Anything you need to know about me will be down in the description box. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have? Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Let's take the one that is up right. Guys, you're in the midst of, you can be transforming, changing. You could probably feel yourself changing. You could probably feel. Like sometimes transformation comes with a heaviness, but then when you come out, you're lighter. You know what I mean? But you could be transforming. You could be changing, changing you. It is a new year, right? Maybe you're figuring out your life's purpose. Maybe you're in a space that you're figuring out why you're here, what you're here for, uh, who you want to be with, any friends you want to keep, not to, you know what I mean? It's like you're... You figuring out your life purpose, and then sometimes, when when you're transforming like that, that's uh, sometimes the journey is lonely, you know. But you you're now trying to figure out your life's purpose, which is a good thing. Wow, you have blessings coming your way, guys. Blessings are in store for you. And you probably are a blessing to others as well, right? But you're transforming your life's purpose. You figured out your life's purpose. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What messages do you have? So whoever I'm talking to, you're definitely moving on from something right it's like you're single now you're free you're in your nine of pentacles you're living your life you could have just come out of a partnership with this two of wands reversed you could have recently just come out of a partnership it didn't work it's like um it was something that you were into it was the sun it was your everything but it's not anymore right it's not anymore and you realize this now like you're not like, you're not up in your head about it. You're not confused about it. Like, you, you know what it is, right? You know what this is. So, somebody definitely move on. You have the Ace of Pentacles as well. A different spirit. And your final judgment. It's like you knew. I guess this was going to happen. But you're not caught up about this ending. You're not up in your head about it. You're not sad. You're not angry. You're not losing any sleep or anything. You're actually kind of happy. You hang out with your friends, you're hanging out with your family, you know, whatever it is that you do, listen to music, but you're happy. Now something. There's some delays here with this chariot in reverse. Something stopped you from moving, or maybe someone doesn't want you to move on. Holy Spirit. Yeah, something's gonna try to prevent you from going forward. The injustice. Could be a divorce, guys, with the justice in reverse. Somebody definitely pulled their energy back. Whoever I'm talking to, you pulled your energy back and you ended things. Two of Wands, you're not up in your head about it with the death card. And you're actually happy that it ended. You may have a Knight of Pentacles coming in. Yeah. You have a Knight of Pentacles coming in that's going to offer you the Two of Cups. So I guess after you walk away from something, this Two of Cups is going to slide in. I think you're transforming. You're figuring out your life's purpose. Yeah. There will be some regrets, right? Holy Spirit. There will be some regrets, but... Yeah, there was just no more hope, I guess, in a connection. All that glitter wasn't gold. You had options, right? Or maybe after you end things, you have options. Yeah, this is a horrible ending. Or maybe you ended things because you found out your person had options, right? Yeah, it was a horrible ending for you. Somebody's coming back. 
with this Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody wants to re-enter your life, right? Either that or you're going back to something. You could either be going back to the way things used to be or somebody could be returning to you or somebody don't want you to leave, right? With this chariot in reverse here, somebody doesn't want you to leave. They don't want you to have that new partnership. But you're not, you're not losing any sleep. You have a Knight of Cups coming in. A Knight of Cups is coming in with this Queen of Cups. I guess while you're healing, this person's going to be coming in with offers. Somebody felt like you, you're healing because you feel like you wasted your time. But I think this Knight of Cups is going to offer you a Ten of Cups. It's like you don't see the blessing, right? You don't see the blessing because you're still healing from what happened, right? So you don't see this blessing. Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Somebody's rushing in with passion, guys, for you. This is your new lover. They're going to marry you, all that stuff. Yeah, this new person is going to help you heal your heart. Three of Swords. This is the King of Pentacles. They're going to come and help you heal your heart, guys. Six of Wands. You will have victory with this person. And then here's the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's going to help you heal your heart. Once you figure out your life's purpose, you don't even see this blessing. But blessing is coming in for you. Let's do some digging, right? Holy Spirit, what's going on? <laughs> A broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. But see, that's your transformation there. So whatever you thought that was, that Ten of Cups that you thought is not, and then it's time to act. So you're going to have to be a lion. You're going to roar, roar like a dungeon dragon, right? You got to step up, speak up, and let the transformation begin, right? Holy Spirit, something's going to happen in July. Maybe something did. Maybe that's your birthday month or something like that. It's the haystack. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. So guys, whatever you put out there is going to come back. Right? Maybe it's good karma because you do have blessings coming in. So it could be good karma. There's something about March. Maybe somebody's birthday is in March. Um, wow, we have October here. And then we have indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So guys, will that in? Don't be indecisive about whenever this presents itself. I think you're not going to see this blessing when it's coming because you're going to be healing. You're going to be transforming, transforming, figuring out your life purpose as you heal. So you don't see this blessing coming, but a blessing is coming. A blessing is coming. Spirit, what does this blessing look like for the collective? All right, Holy Spirit, we like blessings. Holy Spirit, what does the collective, I mean, what does the blessings look like? Hmm. There's going to be separation. That's that transformation, Holy Spirit. And then your soulmate. Once you separate from whatever you're in, when you transform, transform out, then your soulmate comes in. Yep. Or maybe you're already in separation from your soulmate. Holy Spirit. I don't know why that popped in my head. Attraction, guys. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, guys, go be happy. On the bottom, release your ex. And I guess you will because you're transforming. But release them fully. Spirit said free yourself, guys. Free yourself. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. So, you're definitely, you're transforming. You're trying to figure out your life purpose as you heal from heartbreak. And then a blessing is going to come in. You don't see this blessing coming in. But that's good. We like surprises. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.